relying, I don't say we're relying, but his mercy is available. Mm -hmm. uh, many times we don't rely on it, but it's, it's there. Thank you, Lord. In mercy and doeth what? Forever. Yeah. Forever. Thank you, Lord. That's good. Um, hi, Desiree. And Mr. Robinson. Thomas, right? Barbara Thomas. Jackson. Jackson. Barbara Thomas Jackson. Jackson. Barbara oh, Thomas Jackson. Barbara Thomas Jackson. Jackson. Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> Must have been 30 years. Yes. You did come about a, three or four weeks ago you came, and I remember you there. But we're glad you, you're here with us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God is in the business of uh, mm -hmm. enabling you to live a life that glorifies yes, Him. Yes, Lord. Amen. And uh, as, as this, the person that was singing to, it may not be on your resume, mm -hmm. but God really doesn't accept any human resume. Mm -hmm. Only those things that you do for Christ will be found on your resume mm -hmm. at the judgment seat of Christ. Mm -hmm. Not how smart you were or how mm -hmm. much money you had or what mm -hmm. job you held. Amen. It, it's what you allow Christ to do through you. Nothing wrong with other things I'm talking about. Nothing wrong with them. Mm -hmm. But make sure that Christ is a centerpiece in your life. Amen. Amen. I think that what Paul is talking about this morning here in the book of uh, uh, 2 Corinthians. Thank you all for those scriptures. Mm -hmm. And uh, Earl is going to do the communion, so hang tight. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to start here with uh, in 2 Corinthians. Before we do start, let us have a word of prayer. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. We, we choose to serve you mm -hmm. instead of serving ideologies Amen. and theories and thoughts of others. But come near and speak to the servant. Use this vessel to glorify you and magnify your name. But give us of all of our sins and trespasses and move those obstacles they may hinder us from receiving the work and the gifts and leading and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We ask it all right now in Jesus' name and for his sake, amen. Amen. Uh, Dolly, she got a little tune. I heard she getting better at the... She, <laughs> her, 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 some, yeah, she, you're doing pretty good, honey. What about the Holy Spirit? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you see, that a goal, a goal along with the God is what? He said, he said, make a draw for Noah. Make a draw for Noah. You're doing all right. Man. And uh, yeah, well, thank you for that wonderful introduction to the sermon. Uh, but because uh, if a believer says something alternate to what's been said, something is definitely wrong with, with something. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. The Word of God should complement. Uh, it should be the same in each life. So we're going to look at, um, my, my title this morning is The, the Sufficiency of Christ. Mm -hmm. um, I did have the, def the definitions written out, synonyms on sufficiency, mm -hmm. and, uh, but I don't know what I did with it, so I have to pull it up from, from my own memory. That's, that's not very good sometimes. <laughs> but sufficiency means that adequate. Mm -hmm. Also it can mean it has met a particular need. Mm -hmm. Sufficiency. Mm -hmm. Or that it, it completes something. Mm -hmm. Or it makes something that was of a certain value more precious. Mm -hmm. uh, it was my wife came into the, um, to the room left in that bedroom. I had my had my, my uh, ring on. She said, "There's a cloth there, and it will determine whether or not your ring is clean." Mm -hmm. She she took the cloth and started wiping the ring. She said, mm, "It's all right." <laughs> and let let me say something else too, leading up to this 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 message here. Mm -hmm. Our don't you call it a recliner? Mm -hmm. The recliner we have at home, we had it there for about six months or more. Mm -hmm. it, it would have been about a year. And what happened was the the little button on the side 
that makes the recliner to lay back stop working. Oh. Yes, it, it was like that, honey. Oh, my goodness. I can't even lay back in my recliner. I don't, hope, I don't want you guys ever had a problem with recliners, but. <laughs> yeah, that's what we should have bought. We should have But we bought that, uh, that electrical one. Mm -hmm. When you push a button, okay, like push a button, mm -hmm. and you can walk the lean back. Yep. And you can actually lay there and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. What happened was, we came to fellowship one Sunday morning and stayed over with, to the, the meeting that we have after service. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. We got back to the house, and I was going to sit down and chill. Mm -hmm. Not working. Mm -hmm. Listen now, so we called the electrician. Took him about six weeks to get there. He came from somewhere down south. He got there, he couldn't find out what was wrong with it. Took all the plugs are loose, all, the, all that thing. He said, we had all of you a new plug, a new system. I said, Lord, go ahead and do it then. So that went on for about another six weeks. It's going somewhere. Hold, be patient. And so uh, the refrigerator went out, and the stove went out, and the microwave went out. We had no idea what was going on. Uh, make a long story short, we called the electrician. Thank you, Jesus. We called the electrician. He came to the house. He couldn't find anything wrong with all those apparatus. What he did, he went downstairs and took the cover off the all the electrical stuff and tightened up everything. I said, well, that's the best I can do. I don't know anything else. So he went on to another job. And so that evening, I went in the den and I sat down. And my hand happened to catch the button. Mm -hmm. I, I felt that. Mm -hmm. I said, oh my goodness, what's going on here? It started to working. Mm -hmm. And what I got from there, what God showed me was that sometime you need some things tighten up in your spiritual mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And you've done all you can in the carnal method and thinking and whatever else you do. But every now and then you need the, the master electrician to come by and do a particular work. Mm -hmm. So when I saw me as that box, mm -hmm. and if you're not functioning like you should, mm -hmm. you should call in the head uh, electrician. Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking about Christ in the earth. Mm -hmm. let, yeah, yeah, let him come in. You, and Jesus. tighten things up, you'd be a lot better off. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, that was a revelation, because I didn't think it meant nothing. Mm -hmm. But as I sat there on the couch, it become, became apparent that God was telling me mm -hmm. that if you've got something that needs to be fixed, mm -hmm. you might try yourself, but it's never going to accomplish its, its rightful purpose. So when you call calling Jesus into your life, You'd be surprised how well you'll work for him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, it was helpful to me. Now, here in, in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, Paul is addressing the Corinthian believers about the new covenant ministry mm -hmm. and the triumph, the victory we have in that, that procession. Every believer should realize that he is, uh, as Elder put it uh, earlier so, so greatly, we're not fighting here. We're fighting in, from victory. Because Jesus already went to the cross. Amen. And everything is in his power. He said, oh, whatever you ask in my name, mm -hmm. you shall receive it. Whatever you want in my name. Now, that the enemy is always looking and lurking. God is sovereign. So he allows <clears throat> certain things in the believer's life <clears throat> that need to be dealt with. <clears throat> I hope you can see that. Every believer, nobody's perfect here. Anywhere. But we're moving on to what? Perfection. Hallelujah. 
And at Judgment Seat Christ, you will find out just how imperfect you, you really are. Mm -hmm. No matter how, what, what you've been hearing, what the, you'll find out there just where you are in the body of Christ. Now, I hope you would, would, would get, get this picture that no one is perfect. Mm -hmm. But to reach perfection has to be done in the spirit, not in the flesh, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if that's the case, then what happens in your life daily in under God's sovereign rule, there are some things that you don't like. Mm. True. True. Good look Christians, certain things we don't like. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. And and the victory never comes because of the fact that we don't like this. What I see here, Paul is saying, whenever a trial or tribulation comes, it comes under the sovereign hand of God. And you can get victory at long as in, in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus had overcome the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. But if we get trapped in his scenario, we may wind up in having no victory, but the victory is there for us, but we have no victory because we have not trusted Christ in this particular moment. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to get to the message. I was in the gym the other day, and this um, Caucasian, he was in this Caucasian body, but he was a believer. Mm -hmm. He was a Christian. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to him a couple, several days ago. I said, well, all we can need is patience. Sometimes patience is a virtue. Yes. And the book of uh, uh, Galatians speaks about patience. Mm -hmm. One of the fruit of the Spirit is patience. Mm -hmm. And so I just said that. So the next day he come in, he said, thank you, bro, for sharing with me about patience. See, because it so saved me from a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes we're anxious mm -hmm. to get something done. Sure. Just be patient. Mm -hmm. Allow Christ to reveal and give a revelation mm -hmm. concerning that, that patience. We just so things that just ain't going right. I, I can't make it. Well, just trust in Christ. Allow patience to have a what? Perfect work. Amen. Perfect work. And I think you can find all this in the in the procession of the believer in Christ. He said, now thanks be unto God who always what? Causes us to triumphant. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're going through, again I say the in under God's sovereign rule, he gonna allow or allow some things to come in that's gonna try you and test you. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? To perfect you. Jesus said, pick up your cross daily and follow me. Mm -hmm. So if you're following Christ daily, there are some things that God allows Satan to set up in your journey mm -hmm. that you already have victory over, but sometimes we get stopped at that one thing. Mm -hmm. And don't move. Instead of set up praying and asking God to give you a revelation, we start a whining and crying and burping and doing all kinds of things. Ha, ha, I just don't understand this. Well, God is working something out of you so that you can be more of a sweet spell savior to the world. That's what I think that's, that's very clear here. Amen. Uh, thank you, Allah, for that opening. That helped me a lot. Uh, is I thank God always who caused us to to triumph. I mean, get victory mm -hmm. in Christ. It's, it's always what in Christ. It ain't ourselves. Thank you. So the cross of Christ, that you put your cross every day, and it's gonna deal with some cardinal yes. attitude or something of the flesh. Amen. If we if we give way to it, we get no victory. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's not there. We just never actually enjoy the victory of whatever God has placed 
or Satan has placed it, uh, put it in our lives. How do you use it? That makes sense? Now, mm -hmm. uh, he calls us to triumph in Christ, make him manifest the Savior knowledge by his by his word, by his by us in every place. All right, mm -hmm. you're going in the store, mm -hmm. you're at home, mm -hmm. uh, you're visiting, you're at church, mm -hmm. you're at some other particular function, and something is happening that you don't like. Mm -hmm. You don't like it. Mm -hmm. It's an old mother. What? what in the it's affecting. Look, everybody else is all right, but it's affecting you. Can you see that? Yeah. You and I both have been places where some things go on that affect us. Right. Everybody else is good. Mm -hmm. But we have this itching and this anxious to, to get out of where I wish it would stop. No. God is causing that particular thing to work out in your life while you get victory if you stay and just trust in Christ. Yes. Whatever you're going through, you have to trust in Christ. Amen. He gives you victory over that victory, over victory, over victory, over victory, and then one day you could be a terrific believer, live in Christ in such a way that the world have no no doubt who you really are. Thank you, Thank you. It's it's rather strange that so many believers who are believers and the world you can't tell them from the world. I'm not talking about the dress. I'm talking about the attitude and the motives and what they see out of their mouths. Somewhere, they, are, they have not allowed the Holy Spirit to teach them and to bring them to a place of, of total surrender to Christ. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. you, you got friends. I know some, I got some friends. Not a whole lot of friends, but I got people that I wish, I wish he, she knew or he knew about Jesus. In this area, they're already saved, but they're impatient and they talk about people. And they say things unworthy about people. And they have a, a, a very little hope. Mercy. Very little hope. Mercy. And they seem to to, to, to uh, talk from a, in a cave oh. out. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you and as it becomes an echo. Yes, sir. It's awful when a believer doesn't allow Christ to give victory over something that's minor. Mercy and passion, compassion, those are things that I believe that Christ is the fruit of the Spirit. But that you can't get the fruit of the Spirit operated properly until the fruit of the flesh is dealt with. There's a, there's a kindness that comes from the flesh. It is false and hypocritical. The flesh. There's a type of mercy that comes from this flesh. It can be compassion as all I be. Then it runs out. I got no more patience with you. You won't get nothing there for me. Am I right, You get nothing for me. I'll do everything I could for you. Well, how about letting Christ do some things here? How about letting him do some things? Walk in the spirit and you shall not what? Fulfill the lust of the flesh. Don't make excuses for that, for things that you're doing that you know are not Christ-like. Sometimes we come out of, out of an environment where we live, in our home, in our community, and we bring a lot of that st stuff with us. You see what I'm saying? We get saved, but all that garbage, this baggage we got behind us. I think I preached the sermon one day. It's such baggage. <laughs> and we can't run for Christ because all is what? Baggage. We can't love for Christ because all this baggage. And this is what Paul is talking about here. And all the walk victory in Christ, there must be a disrobing of things of the flesh. Amen? Amen. It's, 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 it really bothers, I guess it bothers Christ, but i seen it where a little bitty thing can happen and ruin your whole day. Amen. Yes. Ruin your whole day. True. One word True. from a, a person can just ruin your whole day. You just ain't right no more that whole day. Mm -hmm. You need to have victory over that. Mm -hmm. 
and not allow all the words of the flesh or words from some other uh, person to cause you to fail in that what Christ is trying to bring you through. Amen. That makes sense? Amen. Because we know, know God is sovereign. Every day he allows things into your life. Mm -hmm. How you conduct yourself under, in, that, in that sorrow will is, 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 is most important. You remember when Job, God man, Satan asked Job, uh, you see my servant Job? Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, but we can't touch him. You're going to build a head around him. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Can't nobody touch you. Christ is around you. But in order for you to magnify Christ, certain things have to be dealt with. Amen. Certain things. In our personal life, they need to be dealt with. And God allows Satan to bring that up where you can see it. But what are you going to do with it when you see it? Allow Christ to in you through the spirit to get victory over it. Mm -hmm. You already have victory you, all that time just not walking in it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Don't let the, the things of the flesh keep you trapped. And sometimes, listen to this, we, we create an environment where we depend on something that's not Christ. Mm. Oh, wow. mm. We're in an environment what I mean by environment, where you live, how you act, how you conduct yourself, where you live, your thoughts, everything, is an environment where you are trapped. And you can't move because you're trapped. you got to have your mind renewed Amen. in order to maneuver out of that ideology and things of that nature where you can live free in Christ Jesus. Amen. Come unto me all the labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me for my yoke is what? Easy and my burdens are light. And you'll find rest for your souls. Mm -hmm. Many of us, I'm not talking about us, but many believers have not found rest for their soul because they're all tied up in the things of the world. Gracious. Turn that TV off. That thing that's robbing you of your relationship, just turn it off. The love of money is the root of what? All evil. Yes. Mm. Yes. And that television is run by money. money, money, money. And interest is interest that's trying to get every dime you got. If they can grab your mind, I don't care, I don't care if you're a believer. If they grab your mind, they got you. Right. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. Paul says, walk in victory. Christ has already overcome. You are an overcomer. Yes, sir. Why not live like a what? Overcomer. Stop living like you defeated. Yes, Reckon it to be so. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. See, the Holy Spirit can only do that and help us see that. But you have to be the one who decides to walk in victory or to remain in slavery yes, as so many believers are. Yes, Amen. And he said, For we are unto God a sweet sailor. Thank you. Oh, we smell good, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. And don't, don't forget that. <laughs> but there, there are some things about us that that, that stink. Yes. <laughs> That's a stink. That's why you need cleansing. Yes, you need to walk in victory so those things that stench mm -hmm. will, will go up in the, well, You smell good to God anyway. Yes. But at the same time, there's a. When I, when I, I just clean up. Jay, a baby, he was a, and Rain and Jordan, all of them. I, I changed the diaper on every one of them. That baby needs changing, don't it? Mm -hmm. Changing. But you don't put the diaper back until you do some what? Cleaning. Cleaning. Uh oh, cleaning. That's right, Jay, some cleaning. Mm -hmm. Because you put it back, the room is still there. Well. May not be as bad, but it's still there. Amen. You, you see? And so. What Christ wants you to do, allow him to clean you up as you grow and mature in Christ Jesus. And one day you'll be given for a sweet aroma. Every time they see you, that's a, that, that, oh, here come that Harvey again. They ain't mad at me, they mad at Christ in me. Because if, if, if I want to get along with it, I could. 
drop my victorious sign yet and join the group? Yes, sir. Mercy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They don't hate me because I'm a harvest. They hate me because I'm a, I'm a believer in Christ. I love Christ and live through me. And you don't go around boasting that you just, you just allowed to happen. Yes, sir. Every day, live for Christ. Be kind and merciful to him. Yes, sir. And Christ will lead you and guide you in every step you take to live for Christ. Because at the same time, God wants that individual that hates you to eventually love Christ. Amen. Well, if you look at them that they hate you, you're going to have some problems. If you live for Christ, you don't have no problem with them hating you. Because they hating you, they hate Christ in you. They hate Christ first. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So remember that. For he says that. For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ unto them that are saved. Mm -hmm. Every time we come along, other believers, we ought to feel good and comfortable with what's going on in their lives, in our lives, because we are sweet savor to each other. Amen. When I see Claude, I need to see more of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I see Miss Cabin, I want to see Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus. Right? If he doesn't see Jesus, if there's something I can mention to help, iron sharpeth iron. Amen. Amen. It's, it's terrible and awful when you can't offer another believer advice about their lives. They get to a point in their life that they feel so comfortable with that, they don't allow the Spirit of Christ to speak to you, or do you not allow the Spirit of Christ to speak to you to help you glorify God in every aspect of your life? It's too bad. It happens. But all that happened to judgment. So you want to be open for the Holy Spirit to work through you. Amen. You want to be kind. You want to be merciful. You want to be compassionate. You want to cut around grudges. A believer may have believed for years and you got grudges. What's wrong with you? There you go. Amen. You got something bothering you? Christ already took care of it. Amen. Who are you carrying it around for? You love it, you enjoy it, it makes you miserable. You can be a good little Christian today and you and act that like a clown the next day. Amen. Out of hour hour by hour, Christ is developing you and working in you. You can be a good little Christian this morning, and when another Christian see you that afternoon, they won't recognize you. Amen. Gracious. Did she say that? No. He didn't say. No, he don't, he don't have to talk to me around me. Mm -hmm. But you, 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 you heard him talk about talk, talk me over here. Mm -hmm. I've heard him talk. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that he did something. You, you say, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. Well, it probably did happen. Because a lot of Christians are nothing but hypocrites. Oh, amen. 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 Nothing but yes. hypocrites. Yes. Show me that side mm -hmm. that's good and has a way of hiding that side that's unworthy. Mm. Satan is, is so clever. Mm. Listen to this. He said we are sweet smelling savor to those that are, that are Christ and also we are savor to those that are perish. Mm. We stink. Mm. I want to smell Christ and this is what Paul is talking about, an aroma mm. of Christ when we meet each other. An aroma. Mm. When you walk in a kitchen or in a, in a, in a store, mm. whatever is going on in that in that particular environment is what what you what smell, yes. mm. right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. And whatever is going on in a Christian life, other believers should be able to detect the smell. Yeah. Mm. If it's Christ, they should be able to detect that. Mm -hmm. If it's something in the flesh, they should be able to detect that. But flesh the flesh, there's no competition here. Because both parties have decided to operate in what? The flesh. Mm -hmm. But if you stay in the spirit, you can pick up things in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And you can maybe share with your brother or sister. Um, what do you think about that? Every sister, every brother should be in a position that they can be complimented or corrected on something. Whenever you get to a point you can't be corrected, you're in trouble. Mm. You're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Because you have risen above everybody else and you're sitting at the right hand of God. Mm. 
I had this situation yesterday. Let me go to that. Bro. Oh. You can't sit in the position of judgment. Mm -hmm. We're not called to judge. Mm -hmm. We're called to love each other. Amen. God will thank do the you. judging. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. And I thank God for that. But we ought to look at ourselves and see are we judging. Is everything done the like I want it or you want it? Leave all judgment to God. Love one another. And uh, Paul, Paul said, have love towards one another. Mm -hmm. Then the world can't, get, can't trap you. Mm -hmm. Love what? Conquers all. Mm -hmm. In spite of what another is doing, you love them in any way. Christ loved me in spite of my actions, my conduct and behavior before I met him. Even after I met him, he still loved me. Mm -hmm. I look back over my own personal life when I, before I got saved, I, look, I can't stand myself. Mm -hmm. How did he put up with me? How did my wife put up with me? All of us in our past, we were just as rotten as apples. But God came and gave us the fruit of the Spirit. And we should be uh, allowing that fruit to work out of us. The things of the flesh. That's the part over here. When you walk up to an unbeliever, you should meet him in Christ. Not in the environment that he's in. Right? Suppose he's a homosexual. We don't compromise with that. But we don't get upset and say things out of our mouths that run him away. Because Christ accepts him if he believes. What about the transgender? God loves them too. Amen. But if we allow that to be grab us and hold us, we will never be any witness or any value to Christ in showing Christ's love to anyone of that nature. Would Christ say that? No. Mm -mm. How Christ handles that in love? Mm -hmm. Now they got the right to turn away, but at least it's given in what? In love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You good? You good in love? Their choice. When Christ came, it's my choice. Hallelujah. Your choice. You have a will. You have a right. To either choice you make. Amen. Mm. But He says, uh, "My sheep." Hear my voice, mm -hmm. and the voice of a stranger that will not follow. Mm -hmm. So there are two voices here: it is. the voice of God, and the voice of the stranger. Which the stranger is the devil. Amen. And I hope you got a place in your own spiritual growth that you can detect mm -hmm. when something comes from the flesh. And what I mean by that, you have the Holy Spirit and you have the uh, cardinal man there also. Now, the Holy Spirit is, is deep within you. The cardinal man, there are th three parts of man, the mind, soul, and spirit. When Christ comes into your life, he goes down to the spirit and regenerates it. The dead spirit. And you still have your will. Right? Mm -hmm. All right, now coming out, the first thing or something said or done, the first contact you make is with what? No. The fleshly man. Mm -hmm. This guy, he, he, he's here. Soul. The soul man, right, Jake? Soul. Mm -hmm. He's here. Mm -hmm. But down deeper is where the spirit is mm -hmm. and the living Christ is. Mm -hmm. That's why when something happens, the first thing to open this big mouth is the flesh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> true. No doubt. That's true. Because it's going by him first. Mm -hmm. You have to be the one to determine who's going to speak here. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's going to, to say what needs to be said here? Mm -hmm. Who is going to be exposed here? Wow. The flesh or the spirit? Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Sad to say many times or we fail. I've dealt with myself. Mm -hmm. That's why I, hopefully I'm, I'm saying something that, that helps us along the way. Because I'm very experienced. And um, yeah, wisdom is good, but experience is the best teacher. You can know a lot, but don't know how to, how to deal with it. Right? You can know how to, you can know how to uh, shoot the basketball, things of that nature. But until game time comes, 
<laughs> you ain't much or nothing. Amen. If you ain't never played before, right, Jack? Amen. Girl, ain't that right? Some strength out of the bright light. <laughs> That's a good one, man. That's a good one. And some believers shrink under the light of Christ. When it comes time for Christ to shine, here we go. <laughs> this is what Paul is talking about here to these believers. Because if you read back further, I think there was a, a, a man having an illicit relationship with his daughters or somewhere. It was a, what you call it, a, Incest. 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 And a lot of that goes on too. Yes. Whether you believe it or not, a lot of it goes on. Yes. Mm. Incest. Mm -hmm. And this is where Paul is speaking to the Corinthian believers about you help this man. This man has repented. He's repented. Don't hold that over him now. If he repented, God is taking that away. Amen. But sometimes we don't let people forget how they used to used to be. No, we don't. Yes. We just won't let them forget yes. that. No, we don't. We're always bringing it up. Yes. How about, about walking in the newness of life? Mm -hmm. Christ doesn't bring up anything out of your past. No, your past went to the cross and was Hallelujah. crucified. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What he wants you to you, you do that is walk in victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Every day is a Thank new day. You. Every day is a day you can walk for Christ. Amen. Every day, every, every believer and unbeliever should smell or experience the Savior of Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. To know I just, I don't, I don't like him. He always talking about the church and about Jesus. You don't have to always talk about the church and about Jesus Christ. You can just live a life that's not like that. Amen. Amen. And one day the man asked you, so I'm, I'm a believer. I believe in Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, but your life has said that. Yeah, yeah. They won't know what it is that have your life to say that. Hallelujah. Then you have a chance to what, share the gospel. Same thing with Nicodemus. See, the life, the life that Jesus was living, whew, I just don't understand. I've got to talk to that man. Mm. Went to him at night, and Jesus told him exactly what he must do. Mm -hmm. You must be born again before you can what? See. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. See. Mm -hmm. not, not, not the apple in your hand before you can see. Amen. The spiritual light. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me finish up here. He says that for, for we are a sweet savor of Christ to them that are saved, that's us, mm -hmm. and to them that perish. Mm -hmm. Coming to me all the labor and never laying I get rest. Mm -hmm. All right? There's two groups here. Mm -hmm. So I'm a sweet savor to that group that has Christ. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But here's an unbeliever, and I stink when I get around him. Mm -hmm. What's thinking about me? Jesus. Mm -hmm. And not me. It's Jesus. Because if me was here, they love me. But once Christ portrays, they don't love him. So they actually see him. They actually don't see Christ. They see me. He always, he don't do nothing. He don't go nowhere. don't talk nothing. He won't find out how part of me. He ain't drinking no more. He ain't chewing no more. He ain't committing no more adultery. He ain't fornicating. He ain't lying. He don't read up. He don't run with us no more. They hate you. Yeah. But we love you. What? Christ loves you. Amen. Let that be put on display. Mm -hmm. Amen. For we are sweet Savior unto death, mm -hmm. to death, and to the other, a Savior of life unto life. And who is our and He is our I mean, and who is sufficient of all these things? Mm -hmm. He asked no question. Mm -hmm. How can I live a life that lives a sweet Savior? Mm -hmm. I got to depend on Christ. Because everything about me is fleshly. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking to an individual, one thing you must, as a believer, you got to recognize what who it is that's speaking. Is it Christ? You got the spirit of Christ in you. And or is it the flesh? You got the flesh too. Mm -hmm. If you listen to a person very carefully. I didn't say hear what a person said. I said, listen. Big difference. Yes. You can hear a lot of things, but after it's all over, you, you don't you hear nothing. Hey. But when you listen, you can hear a lot. Listen to that person, and whether or not it's coming from the spirit or from the flesh. Now, it can be a mixture of both. Right? Mm -hmm. You are the one to discern 
what is Christ and what is the flesh? Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. How can you discern that? Mm -hmm. Through the Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Spirit does that. You can't do it, but you allow the Spirit to do that. You don't allow your emotions to get involved with a conversation. Mm -hmm. Once your emotions get involved, then it can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. It takes you at all. And you, and you follow your emotions. But the spirit, you keep the spirit, the spirit will lead you and guide you what? Into all truth. Mm -hmm. Let me finish up here. Go to this. Go to 2 uh, Corinthians mm -hmm. chapter 12, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. And we're speaking about the sufficiency of, of Christ. Mm -hmm. The sufficiency of his grace. 12th chapter uh, Verse 7 through 10. Let's do that. Mm. See? Paul's still talking to the what? The Corinthians here. Mm -hmm. And he says this. I am, at least I should be exalted. What what, what mean exalted? Put up. Mm -hmm. And you think I'm something. Mm -hmm. When I'm nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm just a vessel. That's used by Christ. Is that what it's saying there? Yes, sir. And but sometimes we can think we're something mm -hmm. and be fooled mm -hmm. into thinking we're something when we're really nothing. At least I should be exalted above measure. I don't want you to think that I'm something special here, Paul is saying. Mm -hmm. If you see anything, it ought to be Christ and not Paul. Right? For at least I should be exalted by a measure through the abundance of revelations mm. that were given to me a thorn in the flesh. The message of Satan to above me, at least I should be exalted what? above measure. For this thing was, I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. We want things to leave us, but God has it, God has Satan to pick at us to get us to stay where we are. Mm. To stay humble. This is what the book says. For this thing, no, that. And he said unto me, Well, what? My grace mm -hmm. is sufficient. Mm -hmm. I'll get you through it, but stay humble. No matter what comes in your life, stay humble. And in your ministry, God will give you revelations. Pride, you never get a revelation of pride. In what you're going through, God will give you a revelation of what it is and how to handle it. Right? Mm -hmm. In your suffering mm -hmm. is where you get revelations. Right? Because God is going to show you and, and allow you to go through this suffering and then one day you'll be able to turn around and, and do what? Help some other believer. But you get so proud that you can't help anybody. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what somebody preached like that. They're like that. And we'll finish up here. Most gladly for, most gladly therefore, I will rather rather glory in my what? In my family. What? Mm -hmm. I'm hurting and I'm to glory in that. I'm suffering here and I'm to glory in that. Oh, oh my goodness, Paul. Paul said, I'd rather suffer here. Because I'm getting revelations. Mm -hmm. Up through my suffering. Look at it. Most gladly, therefore, I'd rather glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ might what? Rest upon me. Mm -hmm. That I don't have to get involved with the world and the world system. I don't have to go all at the rudiments of the world. The revelation of God, you can make it. God is able to work through you to do those, those mighty things. They said, therefore, I take pleasure. What? In my in infirmities? Good grace, Paul. You're out of your mind. I'm hurting, and you say you enjoy it? Oh. Why do you get revelation? Revelation is not just for the you personally. Yeah, that's good too. But revelation I'm giving to for the church and to the individual and the body of Christ to what? To help others. You're going through something? You don't been through it? 
Why are you going to tell another person that's going through something? God's going to be with you. You don't worry about God. God's going to be with you. Because he was with me. When I thought I couldn't make it, God was with me. It's good when you get to a point in your life that I, I'm not going to go do anything until I check with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you're new in the ministry, new in the body of Christ, there are other believers who are mature to a place that they can help you. Amen. Not only me, but other individuals have matured where God has brought you along through your trial, through your tribulation, to help you get a glimpse on what you're going through. Amen. Amen. We're to help one another. We're to comfort one another. And as Ella said a couple weeks ago, that bear one another's burden. You should be you should want to get with another person and help them. Amen. When you were going through something, who came who, who came to you? Christ came to you. Amen. And others came to you in the body of Christ to help you along the way. Amen. So I ought to bear one another's burden. And Christ is a He's sufficient. Mm -hmm. He's a, all I need. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. He's a, always been enough. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for anything else. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I don't need nothing else. I got Christ. He's my sufficiency. Mm -hmm. And he said, he's a good shepherd. Mm -hmm. I shall not what? Want. want. And want something that a lot of believers have gotten trapped in. I want this and want that. Mm. They, don't, they don't wait for the good shepherd to supply them. Mm. He supplies you what you need. Mm -hmm. Your wants are what you want. And sometimes Amen. their wants can get you in a lot of a lot of trouble. Amen. 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 That's it for today. Any questions? Any remarks? The sufficiency of Christ. Mm -hmm. What did the uh, word sufficiency mean? Enough. enough. Is he enough for you, Earl? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he enough? Yes. Enough. enough. But well, anytime we look outside of Christ mm -hmm. for things to fulfill something, that's not that's, that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's sufficient. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you come around another believer, all they need to smell is the aroma of Christ. Amen. The aroma of Christ is love, it's compassion, and we need to forgive other believers also. Mm -hmm. No one is perfect along this line yet. So you always got to forgive others and share with us the love of Christ. So when you get, when you forgive another person, it is not your old man that's forgiven them; it is Christ that's forgiven them, right? Mm -hmm. Because the old man gonna bring up everything that was done or said. Don't bring it up, and that forgiveness has not been dealt with at the cross. Christ is our hope and our hope and glory. Amen. Amen. All right, time for the offering. Yes. And then the communion. Yes. Right. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you for your mercy and kindness. And thank you for uh, your sufficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll never run out of supply of just what we need. Bless us offering. In Jesus' name and for his sake, amen. 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 Thank you. We'll give way to Brother Earl as he come to share with us the Lord's Supper.